side of explaining to the doctors that something is wrong, uh, tired of not being able to plan any social outing or play with your kids. Uh, you know, maybe you are tired of explaining, uh, you know, why you are constantly cancelling your lunches, right? So all of these things are, you know, uh, are very common in people who are dealing with chronic illnesses. Um, if you are joining me live, welcome, Kungun. Um, and I just want to introduce myself first. My name is Anindita. I am a functional medicine certified health coach and a functional medicine practitioner and I help women with undiagnosed autoimmune conditions reverse their symptoms using their body as their guide. So I'm going to uh, share a few things to help you understand why you need to move from being a patient at this point in time if you're dealing with any kind of chronic illness and to becoming an explorer, right? So if this is something that interests you, uh, make sure that you are here till the end. Um, if you like what I have to say, I have a couple of slots open uh, available in my uh, coaching program. It's called Healing From Within, the six month program and you can schedule a free 45 minutes clarity call. Just uh, DM me with the word call and I'll make sure to send you the link. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure that you are uh, putting the word call in the comments below so that I can share the link with you. Right. So today is all about compassion and what it means to be a compassionate explorer and we are trying to you know uh, what I'm going to share with you is a different way of approaching uh, chronic illness a different way of actually uh, figuring out what's wrong why you're not getting a diagnosis maybe or maybe we already have a diagnosis but you're still not getting better with the treatments that you're currently going through and it's time to change the way you're doing things because clearly uh, the way the conventional approach works uh, which is more about symptom management and disease management that is not working for any kind of chronic illness right it's it's brilliant it's life-saving medications are certainly life-saving for any acute conditions but uh, where a chronic condition is uh, you know concerned where there are multi factorial complex chronic illnesses for example autoimmune disease cancer diabetes these are lifestyle mediated uh, diseases uh, there's a diet at play there are toxins there's your environment here just focusing on removing one uh, aspect or just managing the dominant or the main symptom that you're facing with the medication just doesn't work it doesn't help you to get better and in fact people get sicker and sicker while they wait for a diagnosis in the case of autoimmune conditions in particular so being a patient what so let me just start with you know sort of taking you through we i know you uh, you know will be well aware of this especially if you've either yourself been uh, ill you know or had a have a disease going on currently or you know somebody in your family who has some kind of health issues and uh, is a patient in the true sense of the word but being a patient uh, means that all the answers that you're looking for, right? And I mentioned that you might be, uh, you know, uh, you might, your labs might be coming out fine, but you know there is something wrong with you. You're not getting the answers that you want. And what happens is that when we think of ourselves just as a patient, we think all the answers lie outside of us, right? So we only look at the lab reports, we only chase a diagnosis, we only rely on medical experts. And again, it's not an either or situation. We need the medical experts, we need the treatments, we need the lab data to actually, uh, you know, start on a treatment to prevent further damage, but that's not uh, the solution. Um, and that's clearly not helping uh, any of us. So being a patient means having all the answers outside of us. I am here to offer you an alternative, right? Uh, so in being a patient means that nothing is in your control. Your life, your health and your body are out of your control, right? And being a patient means that you only medications will help you or only treatments will help you or only the experts know what's good for you. What I'm here to offer you is that that's not uh, how anyone can get better from a chronic illness because there's so many other factors at play your diet your lifestyle your stress management your toxin exposure uh, so the answers are actually not all out there um, you know it's 
not externally driven you also have to go within so it's a mix of both and that's where uh, being uh, you know being an explorer can really help because ex being an explorer helps you to uh, act, explore your outer world as well as your inner world right so what do i mean by outer world your outer world is something that you would most likely already be doing so again uh, you know looking for a diagnosis going to the doctors looking for a treatment getting a lab testing done and again it's uh, you know it's quite necessary to prevent further damage uh, to manage the symptoms which might be debilitating in nature but that cannot be the solution that is certainly not the solution which is why many of us get sicker and sicker while we wait for things to happen right while we wait for all the answers to uh, be brought to us but if you are an explorer, uh, you actually can get back much of that control because you are in control of many of the aspects, if not of your outer world, but certainly of your inner world. Let me share you a story about how this can work in real life. And uh, this is actually a place where I was in several years ago. My daughter was going through a severe health crisis. This was uh, way back in 2000 actually started in 2011 so 12 13 14 were really really tough years right down to 2017 and it was around 2014 that i i started looking for answers um, because one of the drugs had a very very severe side effect and my daughter was hospitalized uh, and she had to you know she survived a life threatening infection but uh, that was like at the turning point and I decided to find the answers and just like you I was looking for answers um, Everywhere, uh, you know, I was desperate like a desperate mom and it took me a year But I realized later, uh, you know, uh, and I found uh, That you know, I found about food as medicine. I found out about functional medicine uh, I found out about how you know diet and lifestyle and toxins all have its role to play I found out what it need, you know, uh, what it means to have poor gut health and how it's connected to her uh, condition, which is eczema. So all of these were the answers that I've eventually found. But I, but I think one of the things that I may not have highlighted earlier is that it was an exploration in both my inner and outer world. So the outer world is easier to see for uh, most people because here is where I found functional medicine, food as medicine, <clears throat> toxins, gut health, etc. But the other uh, exploration that happened for me personally was an exploration to my, uh, you know, to my, my inner journey. Let me put it this way: my inner journey, where I learned to trust my own intuition. I learned to trust my own instinct. Right, that was my journey inside, inside of myself. And that's what allowed me to ha develop the confidence that I really needed to get her started on functional medicine in the first place because there were no guarantees. Uh, there was nobody at that time, eight years ago, who could help tell me that, you know, this is going to work and your daughter is going to get better and things, you know, will become uh, normal again, whatever normal might be. Uh, but I had nobody to, you know, uh, and nobody can honestly uh, sort of <clears throat> give a guarantee like that. But it was because of my inner exploration that I found, uh, you know, that I reconnected with myself, with parts of myself that I had become disconnected, or, you know, as I became an adult. And it was because of that, because I started trusting my inner guidance system. And that by that, I mean my thoughts, my beliefs, my how I felt in my body, my emotions. It, it, it was a long journey and it's still an ongoing journey, you know, which is why I say healing is a journey. Right. And that's why we are explorers and we need to become one if we are not already one. And it was this inner journey that I also embarked upon uh, at the same time. I was searching for answers outside that helped me really to assimilate the information that I got, the knowledge that I got. And it was from this place of knowing there's a difference between knowledge and there's a difference between knowing. And I somehow knew that she would get better. I didn't know how I didn't know how long it would take but uh, i just knew right and if somebody had asked me you know how do you know how do you can do you have any uh, you know has anybody guaranteed that for you well nobody can there is no guarantee in life right so but we can only try and from this inner knowing comes hope uh, and hope is what keeps us going right so this is what allows us to develop the resiliency that we need to take that one step when you can't move forward anymore but that one step that one step and the next step and the next step 
till you start seeing a difference and it's a combination of this exploration into your inner and outer worlds worlds that combine together that makes all the difference because then you know you know from within without anyone having to tell you that it's going to work for you or it's not going to work for you and you need to make certain changes and this is exactly what i teach my clients in my uh, coaching program so it's as much as a journey uh, external journey for them as much as it's an inner exploration so it's a combination which is why body acceptance is one of the three pillars of my coaching program because it's within our body that we feel a lot of our emotions and that's actually where we know we we just know that this is going to help us or we know that it may not be helping us and we need to make some changes right and that's how <clears throat> we keep moving forward so and how do you start right like now that i have sort of laid this uh, sort of groundwork and you know i have shared with you my story uh, how do you start and where do you start so the what i found is over years of working with my clients over years of working with people and now mostly women with severe chronic illnesses is that we need to start by showing compassion to ourselves because too often we are pushing and push you know pushing ourselves pushing our bodies trying to push through and honestly that's what we have been taught right we've been taught to push through when we are not well we've been taught to push through uh, you know uh, when we have some symptoms and we just you know take medicines and we you know continue to look for a diagnosis so we push through and we continue to push through right but the thing is when we can start accepting that healing is a journey and that journey will have ups and downs that's when we can actually understand why compassion is so necessary right because you need to move beyond your diagnosis uh, just getting the name for your disease you need to move beyond just managing your symptoms maybe even your major ones you need to move beyond uh, you know uh, getting gathering the data all the time and you need to understand what's really going on right because a lot of us when we and we this happened to us as well what we believe to be normal ceases to exist and maybe we need to grieve for the life that we have lost what we thought was normal for us right and there is a grieving period that happens and that's completely normal because we have lost certain aspects of our life uh, because of this disease because of our health issues and it's normal to grieve for that and uh, the way that we do that is by showing compassion if we cannot push through all of this right because that's when true healing actually starts happening because as i mentioned healing is a journey right it's a journey that you undertake whether you uh, like it or not so it's best to be prepared with the tools with the resources with the right mindset right that's when you will start seeing uh, the difference that's when you will start uh, seeing a uh, thing because that's when you will know what is the next step for you right uh, i as a coach can provide you with the guidance i can tell you i give you a step by step approach i give you a process a framework to make it as simple for you to know what is you know what's what are the steps that you need to follow like right? this is where we start then this is what we do and then next uh, whether it's gut health whether it's uh, removing toxins from your life whether it's changing your diet removing gluten all of these form part of the coaching program but how do you really know whether it's working for you of course we have a set of uh, questionnaires we have checklists we can do lab uh, tests and we you know get to know with those external data whether things are improving or not but when you start tuning into your body when you start trusting yourself your uh, inner instinct your intuition you will get you will you will understand whether you're on the right track right and that's actually the best uh, barometer your body will be the best barometer this inner guidance will be the best uh, system or the method that you have to know whether you're on the right track and whether you're going to get better or not so um and it, as i mentioned it starts by showing compassion because when you uh, when you start showing compassion many things happen right many things happen which allows you to acknowledge your pain so once again we start by acknowledging what we are going through right we cannot really do anything about that on your test reports diagnosis lab works you know going from one expert to another expert you don't get the entire picture you get a part of the picture yes you can certainly see improvements absolutely and you need this because yes 
again you want to stop further damage <clears throat> prevent further damage but that's never going to give you the entire uh, you know the whole picture right so the part of the so when you start showing compassion to yourself just like you would to a friend who is suffering it allows you to acknowledge your pain it allows you to start moving through your pain it allows you to uh, even grieve for grieve for parts of your life that you have lost that you had thought were normal and it frees you from the shackle of your inner critic you know a self criticism right that's one big area that we work on because it's our inner critic that often keeps us stuck that often prevents us from doing the work that is necessary and all of this helps you to uh, develop a healthy relationship with your body because at the end of the day your body is your best guide in this journey as a coach of course i help my clients to uh, figure these aspects out to put these processes in place to actually develop that healthy relationship with themselves and their bodies in particular because any time that we are dealing with a chronic illness our relationship with the body if it's healthy if it's unhealthy it comes to the forefront whether we like it or not and many times we don't really have a very good relationship with our bodies right and uh, in particular i deal with women with autoimmune conditions and in autoimmunity we have a feeling that our body has betrayed us and that's actually true for many chronic illnesses but in autoimmunity in particular we know that our immune system is for some reason attacking our own tissues and there is a sense of betrayal right and this sense of betrayal does not really allow us to heal from it because we feel that our body has betrayed us so we are constantly at war with our bodies it can happen it does happen in other diseases too like cancer for example right <clears throat> so having compassion for yourself showing the same kind of kindness to yourself when you are suffering uh, for your body for your mind for your soul that you would show for any other person who is in pain and who is in you know having the same issues helps you to you know overcome all of these challenges right so once again you know today was about not uh, you know not about being a patient for the rest of your life if you're already dealing with a chronic illness maybe it's an autoimmune condition maybe you're still waiting for a diagnosis the minute uh, the you know the moment you remain stuck as being a patient that means you have already accepted that all of the answers lie outside of you right so the answers lie in the lab tests in the diagnosis in the medical professionals um but that's not really true Uh, you need to take back that control and that control can only happen when you actually understand uh, that your answers are not going to all your answers are not going to come from outside of you your answers will have to come from uh, within you and that's when you become a true explorer uh, thank you gungun for joining and thank you for your uh, kind words uh, i hope this uh, today's session was uh, useful for you if you think that uh, you know i can help you with uh, uh, if you're dealing with any kind of chronic illness and you think that i can help you with that uh, make sure that you send me a dm with the word call so that we can schedule a free 45 minutes clarity call of uh, you know and then we can see if we're a right fit for each other and i thank you for joining me and i'll see you again soon